Hi, I'm Coach Jim at RunnersHide.com. Today's video, I'm going to show you how to do a runner assessment for strength and mobility, followed by a stride analysis. I'm going to show you just what to look for and how it's done. So, let's get started. The first thing I like to look for is ankle mobility to ensure the runner has enough flexibility at the ankle. It's also important to test for big toe mobility too and coordination and strength. If you're not rolling straight over your big toe, your heel may be rolling outward, feet flailing instead of tracking in a straight line. Now a shoulder press might show hip or core weakness by causing her to lean back when pressing down. Hip mobility is also essential for a long stride. This testing position works great for doing the stretch. This runner has about 110 degrees of hamstring flexibility, which is more than most runners have who typically have about 70 or 80 degrees, which is fine for most recreational runners. To run efficiently, you really must rely mostly on your glutes to power your stride. If you find yourself using your back muscles or quadriceps in these tests, or if it's difficult to do or if you're feeling unstable, you might need to work on your glute strength just a little bit more. If your knees are driving forward any more than this runner is in this squat test, it means you rely on your quads just a little too much when you run. Before we do the stride analysis, I like to have all my runners do a dynamic warm-up before we get going. I especially like doing the leg swings and the lateral leg swings as a minimum. So let's get started. Now be sure to look for this runner's overstride, how her leg reaches out in front of her on heel strike, and also look for her hip extension or leg extension, which is how far back her leg extends behind her at toe off. This really gets interesting, so here we go. Enjoy. In this slow motion video stride analysis, I'm going to look at the entire stride but break it down into components. The first thing I look for is overstriding. Does she swing her leg out in front of her on impact? You'll notice right here she has some forward angle to her shin as she impacts the ground. She would be better off if she was able to bring that closer under her center of mass on impact. You'll also notice she has dorsiflexion or toe lift as she swings her foot forward. That would also level off a little bit if she brought her feet closer under her center of gravity. Both feet do about the same amount of overstriding and dorsiflexion or toe lift. The second thing I like to look at is hip extension or, or leg extension behind her at toe off. Right here at toe off, she has some really good hip extension. That angle is really good for a runner. Both legs have great hip extension. The next thing I like to look for is excessive torso twist. Looking at her arms, she crosses her center line moderately. She's running at about 90% effort, a 5K pace, so that really exaggerates how much twist she has. Her right arm comes up high and tight. She would be better off if she was able to bring her arms a little bit further back, a little more relaxed, and work on not swinging them across the body. And the last thing I like to look at is oscillating or bobbing up and down. She doesn't do very much oscillation, so she's a very smooth runner. Overall, her stride is really good. She would be helped by bringing her feet closer under her center of mass, relieving some of her dorsiflexion or toe lift, and working on core strength and hip strength would improve on her torso twist. With those adjustments, she'll become a better runner. In this portion of the video, we're looking at how much does she roll inward pronating or supinate rolling outward on her impact. So I've drawn a line on there to give us a benchmark to look for. As the foot lands, 
it rolls in very slightly. It looks like a pretty neutral stride to me. Now her left foot, let's see how much that one moves inward. Again, it looks like a pretty stable, neutral landing. A little bit of rolling inward, which is normal, but not too much. The next thing I like to look for is does her legs cross over center line? The left leg, as it goes through swing phase, lands straight in line under the center of mass. The right leg, as it goes through swing phase and lands, also lands fairly well under the center of mass. There's no crossover, there's no heel flick. Oftentimes you'll see the heel flick out and in dramatically. She runs very straight with those heels. Another thing I like to look for is hip drop across this line. Do you have one hip or the other dropping, or both, dramatically on each step? In the swing phase, does that right hip drop? It does a little bit. On the swing phase with the left foot, does the hip drop? And you can see it does a little bit. That can be improved with a little bit of hip strength exercises and core strength. Overall, very good stride. In this front view video, I'm looking to see if she crosses over the center line on each step and she does not. It looks like her feet land straight in line which is really good. You'll also notice that from the rear view video it looked like her feet turns out a little bit but at, from the front view video you can see that she tracks straight ahead rolls straight over her toes which is exactly how you want to do it. I also notice she does not have very much knee dive where the knees buckle in or out does she have any hip drop? Maybe some slight hip, hip drop. Not bad at all. Again, she's running at a very fast pace right here. So she's getting some torso twist. Her arms are crossing her center line. If she was able to relax the arms a little bit, let the elbows swing a little further aft, those minor adjustments would help her improve her stride. Overall, she's a very good runner. Okay, well that's about it. A quick review is we looked at the overstride and her torso twist and her hip extension, how far back she extends her leg behind her. So that's the stride analysis. Hope you enjoyed it. And be sure to save this as one of your favorites or better yet, copy the link above and share it with your friends on Twitter or Facebook. Oh, and don't forget to visit runnershigh.com. I'm Coach Jim Partridge. I hope to see you out there sometime. I'm here today to uh, screw up my video. <laughs> How to do a, uh, uh, messed it up. <laughs> Try that again.